back to HGTV Handmade. I'm just gonna warn you now, this is another video where I'm going to be cutting up a book. So if you are a book purist, we have hundreds of other DIY videos that you can watch. But if you're cool with that, today I'm going to show you two ways to turn a book into a piggy bank. This is a great way to collect your spare change to buy even more books or to save up for whatever else it is you're saving up for. Let's get into it. First is the easy version. For this one, go to your local craft store and buy a book box. This looks like a book, but it's made out of thick cardboard and it's already hollowed out. Try to get one that has a magnetic closure already on it so that it stays closed even if you stand it up. So stand it up and use a ruler to mark the center on top. Draw a rectangle using a pencil and then grab a craft knife with a sharp blade. Very carefully, use your craft knife to cut out the rectangle. The cardboard on this box was a little thicker than I expected, so I also ended up using a thumbtack to poke holes, which I then connected using my craft knife. So once you've got the rectangle cut out, you can use a bit of sandpaper to smooth it down. Then use washi tape to line each edge of the rectangle. I did two layers of washi tape so the color would really stand out. And that's all there is to it. Now that you have a slot at the top of your book box, you can stand it up and collect all of your spare change. But if you don't have a book box, you can definitely make a piggy bank out of a real hardcover book. This project is actually pretty similar to my book safe DIY that I showed you how to make last year, so I'll link that video right down below. So you can throw away the book jacket since we won't be using it for this project. Then use a ruler to mark a rectangle on the first page of the book, leaving about an inch on each side and the bottom. Grab some painter's tape and use it to hold the edges of the book together. And then use a ruler and a sharp craft knife to cut out the pages. Depending on how thick your book is, this might take a little while, but just keep at it. Alright, so once your book pages are cut out, we're going to line the inside with cardboard. You can cut apart a cereal box or use any cardboard that you have lying around. Cut down pieces of cardboard to fit in the box and then use hot glue to glue them in place. Don't be stingy with the hot glue here. You really want to make sure the cardboard is holding all of the pages together. Now our bank is coming along, but it's missing a top. Cut another piece of cardboard to fit on the top top of the book, and just like before, draw a rectangle in the middle. Cut that out to make a slot for your coins, and then glue it into place on the top of the book. Now our piggy bank is almost finished, so this is the fun part, it's time to decorate. Remove the tape from the edges, and then use paint, washi tape, letter stickers, a label maker, anything you like to decorate your book bank. Once it's all decorated, we just need to make sure that it stays closed. For this, use some thin, small magnets. Glue them to the two corners of the book. Once the glue has dried, cover them with a bit of packing tape, and then attach a second magnet to another piece of packing tape, and stick it to the first magnet with the sticky side of the tape facing upwards. When you close the book and then open it again, the magnets will be on the inside of the book in the exact place they need to be. Lift up the tape and add some glue, and then let the glue dry completely before closing it again. And now we've made this book fund piggy bank out of an old hardcover book. You can get a book from the thrift store for just a few dollars, and you can decorate it any way you like for anything that you've been saving up money for. So I would love to know which one would you make the easy version out of a book box or the more difficult version out of an actual book. And what are you saving up all of your change to buy? Let me know in a comment right down below. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new DIY videos every single week. I'll see you guys next time.